my name is Rebecca Powers with SLCT and here is what's happening in Sterling and Lancaster. Great Blue Research will be conducting random surveys by phone to Sterling residents. These calls are sanctioned by the Sterling Municipal Light Department. No personal or financial information will be requested. If you have questions or concerns, contact the SMLD at 978-422-8267. If you are interested in getting involved with local government, nomination papers for elected officials are available until March 19th at the clerk's office. The annual winter parking ban is still in effect. This means that you cannot park on the street between 1 and 6 a.m. and you cannot leave your car where it will interfere with snow plowing or removal. The Conan Public Library is offering delivery services for Sterling residents unable to leave their homes. Librarians will schedule drop-offs and pickups of books, magazines, and DVDs as long as you have a library card. Interested patrons should call 978-422-6409 for more information. There will be a Well Adult Clinic on Wednesday, March 18th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Lancaster Community Center. No appointment is necessary. For more information, contact the Neshoba Board of Health at 978-772. 3335. The Lego Club at the Thayer Memorial Library meets every Wednesday from 4 to 5 p.m. This group is for children ages 4 and up. For more information, contact Susan Conroy at 978-368-8928, extension 5, or email sconroy at cwmars.org. For more information on what's happening at the Thayer Memorial Library, here is Karen Silverthorne. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Thera Memorial Library. It's been a long winter, but spring is right around the corner, and we hope to see you back here at the library more often. Um, I wanted to tell you about the Writers Workshop that Seven Bridge Writers Collaborative will be having on March 21st, 10.30 a.m. It's free to the public. It's called The Nuts and Bolts of Revising. This free craft workshop will provide suggestions for editing and revisioning your project. Winona Wenth will be the facilitator, and she is a published writer and instructor at Quinn Sigmund Community College. So we help, hope you can join us on Saturday, March 21st at 10.30 a.m. Are you done hibernating for the winter? Well, so are the bears. And we have a special Rosemary Davis series program coming up called Bears in Our Backyard? Yes, Bears in Our Backyard. Mary Morrow of the Nashua Rivershed Association will teach us about bears. This hands-on program is fun for families and children as young as five years old. Audience members will learn about bear teeth and claws as tools, doing experiments with fat to see how they stay warm and alive in the winter, and our audience will explore outdoors looking for bear food and good bear resting places. So dress warmly. That is on Tuesday evening, April 7th at 6.30 p.m. Don't forget our adult evening book group that we have the last Tuesday of every month. This month for Tuesday, March 31st at 6.30 p.m., we will be reading People of the Book a novel by Geraldine Brooks. If you're interested in joining the conversation, we can order this for you. April is National Poetry Month. The Seven Bridge Writers Collaborative will be teaming up with their Memorial Library to present a celebration of poetry throughout the month. Watch for information about a student poetry contest and exhibition, a poetry open mic, a craft workshop on poetry featuring poet Michael Fisher and the National Poetry in Your Pocket Day at the library. So make sure you check out what's going on with Poetry Month in April. And then here is a save the date for you. For Saturday, May 2nd at 1 o'clock p.m., author Amy Belding Brown will visit their Memorial Library to talk about her new book, The Flight of the Sparrow featuring legendary Lancastrian Mary Rowlandson. This book has gotten rave reviews online, and if you haven't read it yet, let us order a copy for you. Be sure to call us at 978-368-8928, 
or go onto our website at thermemoriallibrary.org and check out our Facebook page while you're at it. Bye everybody. We'll see you soon at the library. And now back to you, Rebecca. Thanks, Karen. The Neshoba Drama Society will be presenting the play Peter Pan on the 13th and 15th of March. For more information, call the school at 978-779-2257. Sterling will be hosting its Spring Rabies and Microchip Clinic Saturday, March 14th at the VCA Sterling Animal Hospital at 4 Clinton Road. From 9 to 10 a.m., cats and carriers will be seen, and from 10 to 11 a.m., dogs on leashes. For more information, contact the Sterling Animal Control Officer at 978-422-7331. Sterling Lancaster Community Television would like to thank you for returning the surveys enclosed with this year's census. And if you haven't, please fill it out and return it as soon as possible. The Massachusetts Environmental Trust is asking for your help in protecting our drinking water and aquatic life by using the medication drop boxes located at the police stations for any unused or expired medications. For more information, visit www.nashuariverwatershed.org. The First Church in Sterling is looking for people to rent tables for the upcoming indoor yard sale on March 28th. If you're interested, call 978 422-6657 to reserve a table. I'm Rebecca Powers and that's what's happening. If you have a local event you'd like to see on this program, contact SLCT. SLCT is looking for more volunteers to help with filming and editing. If you know someone interested, have them contact us at 978-733-1139 or email slc.tv810 at gmail.com. We'd like to remind you to find us on Facebook and YouTube.